This episode is sponsored by AEM EV, I and mean, we're focusing on their BMS system. So there are two different types of BMS units that they use, satellite and a master. So we have two masters in this system and 10 satellites in total. Um, and I'll go over a little bit more about that information in a bit. But first, we're gonna just touch on what a BMS system is, why you need one. We're running two Chevy Volt packs in here, which is roughly 200 cells at four volts each. And the BMS units, what they do is they each will monitor 18 cells, which is why we have, you know, 12 units. And they can't, they can only be split a certain way, but we'll go into the wiring side of it later. So what a BMS system does is it will raise up the voltage or keep the voltage equal between all of your cells. So you're not uh, heating up a cell too much if you're dissipating it too fast and too low versus the other ones. Um, and then also when you're charging, making sure that you're charging them all back up at the same rate. If you think about each cell as a big bucket of water, if you have one, a bunch of cells that are almost all the way full, and then you have one that's a really low, almost like a dead cell that's half full, it will fill all your buckets up to full and then dissipate all of them and then keep filling it up. So it can monitor and change the voltage between cells to a point, but you wanna really make sure that you have tested all of your cells before you like put all the batteries into your car and set them all up like this. Um, so definitely learn from what we say and not as we do. We're making mistakes and we'll keep you guys along for the ride because we actually have one cell that looks like it might be dead. We're gonna try to individually raise it up so we don't have to like, you know, have our BMS system work for probably days. You wanna make sure that you have a BMS system. Do not drive an electric car without a BMS system. Some people online would be like, oh, you don't need one. But um, for safety standards, you definitely should have one. Cause you could have a, a runaway cell that gets too hot and then starts a fire. And once you have a chemical fire, like one of these battery packs, you're not putting it out. That's your car is going to just burn down. There are some battery packs that would uh, require you to only maybe have half this many BMSs, but we went with this battery system because it's a bit cheaper and the energy density of them is pretty good. That is why you need a BMS system. Um, we're gonna go over AEM's BMS system uh, in particular here, because that's what we're using. Let me unplug this boy. Each BMS is either a master or a satellite. Basically what you need to do is you need to wire your CAN bus system and your wake system, your wake signal, like your ignition power, um, and then your constant power and ground to your master and then you wire in the 18, the 18 cells to that master. And once you have that one wired in, you don't need to do any more power and ground, none, none of that. So say this is the beginning of your pack and this is like say 40 something cells right here. This will do 18 of these cells and then you have to jump on a next BMS to do the next 18 cells. So you keep do them in, doing them in line. So it starts with the master and everyone after that master is a satellite. So. I have a master and then five satellites following, and then I have two separate systems. So I have a battery system A and a battery system B. Since I wired it up that way, we're monitoring them separately as well. So I have two masters, master for system A, master for system B. This is battery, the small battery A, small battery B. Um, and it always starts at the negative most system, ne negative most uh, point on the battery. Um, and then just goes through out each one and each one connects and talks to each other but they only talk to each other over a twisted pair CAN bus line all of the power and everything like that that the satellites get is literally through just two wires so it looks like a big jumbled mess that's just because there's so many battery cells that are coming out and you're just testing the voltage so there's like four volt cell uh, taps coming out of each of these these are the OEM plugs from a Chevy Volt all the all the Chevy Volt plugs are all the same uh, wiring diagram. You you do a negative tap, which is your lowest voltage tap, 
and then you do cell one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 18. And then I have two uh, temperature sensor taps in this as well. So these can monitor three temperature sensors and 18 cells each. Uh, this universal harness has made wiring everything so easy. So it has the wiring already ran for the CAN bus, power and ground, signal wake um, for the BMS master. And then you just have to wire your own twisted pair, your CAN bus. So it'll be a CAN bus coming out of the master, going into the satellite and from the satellite to the next satellite, to the next satellite, all the way throughout the rest of them. And then just hit all of your, your 18 um, cell volts and temperatures and that's it. The whole system will monitor itself. As you charge your batteries through your um, CCU, it will make sure that all of them are within spec. And then also as you're driving your car, it'll make sure that they all are dissipating within spec. So with this system, you don't have to worry about, you know, just your battery catching fire randomly. I've even seen BMS systems catch fire if they're like improperly uh, wired up and stuff like that. So definitely, definitely use a reputable company. I've only seen a couple, but if you're going with any of the AEM system components, these just wire right into everything and it makes it so easy. Um, so if you keep it in the AEM family, definitely go with the AEM satellites. Compared to other BMS systems, they're also much cheaper, I found. More convenient, they're easier, so that it's not like one huge box. Other systems will have a huge box that needs to be routed somewhere. So you have to have a huge cable with all these cell taps ran through them and then it has to stretch throughout. Like my pack is here and it goes all the way up to the front like by the headlight of my car. So I would have to have a huge wiring harness running all these things. And instead I just have twisted pairs going to them. The only wires that are actually running to the BMSs are right next to them. Like this is literally that. And then it has a twisted pair going to and from it. It looks a little daunting looking at all this wiring jumble mess, but it's, it's not too bad, trust me. <laughs> A lot of zip tied uh, spare wires from the main harness they gave us too.